When it comes to Fortnite, everyone's heard of the number one rule for success, just build, but we all know it's not that simple. So let's check out how three different pros use their hardware to set themselves up for the win in their own unique ways. This is How Do You Mouse and Keyboard Fortnite Edition, brought to you by Logitech G. Kanata, the zone war god, has a reputation for being one of the most mechanically skilled players in Fortnite. And he knows it. Let's look at the setup that gives him so much confidence. Hey guys, it's Kanata, and I play professional Fortnite for TSM, and my role in Fortnite is basically a fragger slash support, and today I want to go over my key binds in a creative session. So all my binds, I've used all my binds since like the first day I've played Fortnite, and I've just gotten really used to them. And it's really convenient for me because my thumb uses all three, three binds, C, V, X. C is my wall, X is my floor, and V is my stair. And for my cone, I use the mouse button five, which is the top one on the mouse. And it's just convenient for me because this makes me have better movement because none of my building is on my pinky or my pointer finger or my ring finger because my double movement bind is L shift and using L shift, holding it with A helps me move a lot better and move like a controller player while building and just spamming my edit bind with my pointer finger without having to worry about building what editing just makes me a faster and smoother mechanical player so whenever i free build in creative my binds on my thumb work really well on the pro x keyboard because of the fact that they're really close together and it's just really easy to hit the keys whenever i'm using my cone bind and editing at the same time it's just really easy to edit the cones because on the pro wireless mouse which i use it's really like easy and the, the mouse buttons are really nice as you see just my cone editor is so nice so if you're a beginner and you want to learn like what actually are the best binds on like your mouse usually most pros have two building binds on their mouse which is like their floor they use usually their wall floor or wall ramp or even like cone sometimes but usually all pro players use cone on their keyboard, but on a mouse, usually like a wall and a stair is really, really easy to use. Okay, so like an angled keyboard for me works a lot because angling the keyboard just makes my thumb hit the binds easier. It's all preference, but for me, it's just easier to hit my key binds. Angling your keyboard is all depends on key binds. Like if you, if you like it like that or not. Zexero is known for his pinpoint aim that's led him to his Fortnite Championship Series Trios win. With the consistent stress of tendonitis, Zexero finds a style that emphasizes sharp shooting and hand health equality. Hey guys, I'm Zexero. I play Fortnite professionally for TSM and I'm the carry on my trio so I just want to go over my keybinds so you guys can get better and stuff like that. I use both my mouse buttons to build with the G Pro Wired Hero Mouse. I use my back mouse one for my stair, my front one for my wall. And then on the keyboard, I use X for my floor, Z for my pyramid. I use both my thumbs to build, so it's a lot more simple. I use E for my edit. For my binds, since I have the two mouse binds, it makes it a lot easier for me to use my double movement binds because I use C and V and I don't have to use two fingers on the keyboard because I have two mouse binds I use. So it makes it a lot easier for me to use double movement than other people. So if you already have your binds and you've been playing a while, I don't recommend switching them because usually everyone that switches usually goes back. But I mean, it's all personal preference at the end of the day. But for most people, they always go back. So like, there's no reason to switch when you're just going to go back. So if you do end up changing your binds, I definitely recommend just sitting in creative all day, just practicing them there. There's no reason to go into the actual game until you're fully used to your binds. Consistency is one of the hardest things to come by in competitive Fortnite, but you don't need to look any further than Fortnite Championship Series Duo winner, Saf. Let's take a look at a setup that's kept him in the cream of the crop for so long. Hey guys, I'm Saf and I play professional Fortnite for TSM. My main role when playing with my trio is just being the best because we're the best, you know? And today I wanted to go over my keybinds and my peripherals and why they work for me. 
All right, so first of all, my keybinds for building are E, B, and Q, and left shift. And they're probably like, I don't know if they're the best binds for everyone, but they're the best binds for me. And shift is probably the best cone bind in the game because I could press it so easily. Like you just take someone's wall, press your shift. And with the Logitech G Pro keyboard, it's just so easy to press the like actuation on this keyboard is really good. And then for my movement binds, like they're all normal, except I use caps lock for my double movement to move to the left and strafe. And then I use mouse five on my Logitech G403 so I can move to the right. And I also use mouse four for my shotgun on my G403, which is like probably one of the easiest buttons to press. I think it's a really good shotgun bind because I can access it whenever. And the mouse buttons on the G403 are probably the best I've used out of any mouse. My gun binds are two, as I said, my shotgun is mouse four, and then four, five, and X for my heels. And X, I think it's a really underrated bind for heels, like, I press it so easily. I think these are the best binds for me, and I haven't changed them out of, like, two and a half years of playing competitive Fortnite. The most important thing, though, is if you're comfortable with your binds, no, like, binds aren't gonna make you the best player in the world. If you're comfortable and you feel like you're fast enough on your own binds, then you should just stick with them. There's no point in relearning the game and trying to get faster. In a game with such a wide range of skill expressions, finding the style that will let you soar past competitors is crucial. We hope this video will inspire you to look at how you play and find the ways you could take your Fortnite game to the next level. If this video helped you out, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe to TSM. If you want more videos like this, let us know what other techniques you want us to explore in the comments below.